Hi everyone, I've got something a little bit different for you today. Rather than just looking at some, some resonant modes and some frames, I've been in contact with a guy on Reddit called Azu01 and he sent me a frame design to simulate. And he's also sent me a black box log of this frame in flight. And today we're going to see if we can tie up what we see in the black box log with what we see from the resonant analysis and see if we can really understand the why behind what we're seeing in the log. So let's get into it. So here we are looking at Azu's log. Let's skip ahead to when he uh, takes off and starts flying. So we can see this is a pretty good log for, for looking at frame resonance because there's a lot of pretty aggressive moves. I've got some uh, full stick roll it looks like, then uh, full stick pitch. Yeah, definitely a lot of uh, a lot of pretty aggressive flight moves going on here. So this should be perfect. So if we jump into noise plots, I'm using UAV Tech's um, Black Box Explorer workspace, which is really, really good. And we jump into the analyzer. Let's set for that to load a second. Bring it full screen and then look. Let's first look at the gyro scaled roll. So this is the raw roll noise. You can see that there's this big kind of peak of 200 hertz. If we look on pitch we see pretty much exactly the same thing. Okay so two relatively big spikes at around 200. Let's see how those vary with the, the throttle set point because this is very interesting. Okay, so looking at roll, frequency versus throttle, let's turn the gain up a little bit. You might be able to see just here the motor noise. It's kind of sweeping up with throttle as we would expect. But do you see this really bright spot here at around 200 hertz? So this is a, this is a typical kind of frame resonance look. You can see you've got a, a 200 hertz vertical line pretty much across the whole throttle band. Doesn't matter what throttle you're at, you can see this, this brighter band which indicates a resonance. Let's see if we see it on pitch too. Yeah, again, really clearly visible on pitch. I mean, look at this big white spot here and then even, you know, a little bit of, uh, of white. Uh, maybe above it there. So we can be pretty confident that there's some sort of resonance being excited at around 200 hertz on this frame. So before we jump into the resonance analysis and try and pin down this 200 hertz vibration, let's take a quick look at uh, Azu's frame design. So this is a sort of hybrid freestyle slash racing frame. I mean, you could definitely use this for either. It's got a true X configuration and the four arms are identical and they, uh, they lock together in the center of the frame. Each arm is secured into the frame by two screws, one here and one into this standoff. And the stack screws, although they look like they go through the arms, there's actually, if I hide this part, you'll see uh, a cutout in all of the arms so that should you break an arm in the field and need to replace it, you don't need to take your flight control stack apart to do that. So overall, a really, really nice frame, really pretty frame. So let's jump into the resonance analysis and see if we can pin down this 200 hertz vibration. So here's an animation of the 200 hertz mode shape. We can see here that we've got a pretty typical um, resonant mode with opposite motors across the diagonals moving together up and down. Also, if you look really closely, you can see the flight control stack and the camera kind of dipping uh, left and right on the roll axis and also forward and backward on the pitch axis. The roll axis is definitely slightly more pronounced than the pitch axis. And this really ties in with what we were seeing from the black box logs. Those white splashes on the frequency plot that were more severe on roll than on pitch directly corresponds to the movement that we're seeing here in the flight control stack and you can see it's being governed by the this resonant mode where the two motors move together 
All right, so we've come to the end of this video and I hope that you found it interesting to go through Azu's frame design, to look at his black box log, and to see if we can correlate that with the results of a resonance analysis. I guess the next question is, what can we do to improve the design of this frame to reduce these resonant modes or maybe add some damping to, to reduce the amplitude, the amount of noise that you see in the black box log? I'm going to get back in touch with Azu and see if we can't work together to further improve the resonant performance of his frame design. Who knows, there might even be a follow-up video on it. In the meantime, if you have a frame design and you're concerned about resonance issues, please, please do get in touch with me, particularly if you're a manufacturer, because at the end of the day, every single person who flies your frame is going to appreciate you taking the time to sort out resonance in the design stage. That's all I have for you for now, so all that's left is to say happy flying.